So I gotta admit, I didn't think that this video was gonna happen because I didn't think the sneakers would ever arrive, but they did. So let's get into this video. Yo, what's up fam? Thanks once again for tuning into the channel. This is Kickswell where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we got a very, very special sneaker. These are the A6 EX89. These are some beauties, guys. I gotta admit, these are some really, really nice, nostalgic. I don't know, they're just really, oh man. I am in love with these sneakers. All right, guys, so just giving you a 360 view of this actual sneaker. You could tell, man, it's got it's got a very plain and minimal kind of silhouette with a lot of a kind of design aspects added into it. It's got a lot of 80s vibes. I think that's where the whole EX89 comes from. Like it comes from 1989, the kind of whole design aspect. And I, yeah, the whole inspiration just comes from that time era. It kind of reminds me almost like of an Adidas form in a way. But before we continue, I just want to give a huge shout out to IP Royal. So if you are in the sneaker bot game and you need a reliable proxy server, you can definitely trust IP Royal. Because if you don't, you can get banned for life from that actual retailer. And what's even worse, you don't get to copy your sneakers. Residential proxies come from real devices with real ISP issued connections. Bots use these proxies to master activity and become indistinguishable from other regular shoppers, which helps bypass capture requests. More importantly, by using residential proxies as close as possible to the sneaker website's physical servers, botters can enjoy lower latency and complete their purchases faster than anyone else. And of course, you know how generous IP Royal is. They have provided me a 30% discount code to give to you guys, which you can use straight away on the website. It's so easy. Let me show you. All you gotta do is first go into the website. You log in. And for this one, we're using the Royal Residential Proxies, as you can see on the left. Next is create new order. To apply the discount code, you go at the bottom. You type in the discount code, which is KICKS. Press enter. And then bang, it says coupon code was applied. So you get that 30% discount straight away, guys. So I just want to give a huge shout out once again to IP Royal for once again supporting my channels and my videos so that I can create better ones for you guys. Back to the video. All right, guys. So let's just talk about the main aspects of this sneaker. You can see it's got a full sort of like grain leather for the upper it's all just basically just one material you can see there it's got a cotton what it feels like a cotton collar or the inner lining sock liner whatever it might be and um yeah it's got a pu midsole rubber midsole and it's got like yeah it's definitely i wouldn't i would call it like a really plain sneaker if you could in a way but it's not though that's the thing <laughs> Um, uh, it's, I don't know, I just, I, I just, I'm a really big fan of plain sneakers. I feel like they're easier to wear because sometimes when they get too crazy, especially with the colors and all that kind of stuff, it's harder to wear and you won't get your kind of money's worth because you can only wear it, wear it with certain other outfits and all this kind of stuff. But I think red, is, red, white, and gray are very, very usable colors. And, uh, yeah, they match with blue, black, and all this kind of stuff. So... Uh, yeah, I definitely think that I can put this into my daily rotation pretty much straight away. But before I continue, I just want to give a huge shout out to Foot Locker because they are the ones that actually gifted me this pair of sneakers. They originally contacted me, I think it was like in February or at the beginning of February. And now it's closer to the end of March and I finally got the sneakers. I mean, I it's not the first time that they contacted me and like... I thought it wasn't going to come through, but they did. So I'm just really thankful. Very plain. And uh, the upper has a lot of different paneling on it, but it's all, it looks like it's all just leather. From what uh, Mr. Nightwing was saying is that this leather, he, he wasn't saying it was the highest quality leather, but it's definitely, it's, it's still nice. And uh, from the price point, which is 180 Australian dollars, it's, I think it's a, an affordable cop, definitely. 
And um, what's really cool about it is that it comes out in a whole different range of colors. I gotta admit, some of the other colors I did really, really want more than this one, but it's okay. I'm still thankful for this one. Mainly because some of the other colorways had um, aging. It's like a little bit of a yellow on the midsole, so it kind of gave that more of a nostalgic aesthetic to it. And I mean, I, I could always add the the like the yellow, like the yellowing on the actual midsole uh, manually, but I don't know. I just would have preferred it like to like all of them to have it because it is sort of like a nostalgic shoe, and I would have preferred all of them to sort of be a little bit more nostalgic, not just some of them. But I do think it does look cleaner though without the yellowing on the midsole. It looks sick. I'm a really big fan of these. It's plain and simple and man, it's like, yeah, for $180, I feel like, yeah, you can, this is a really good cop. And not just that, guys. I forgot to, I couldn't see it before, but it's got the Ortholite insole on it. So I've I've got Ortholite insoles on my 9090, yeah, 9090B3s for the New Balance. I also got them on my Addy soles, I just Addy soles on the um, on these. I have them also in what are they called the Addy Firm Superstars for the black and the white. Uh, I can't remember if I had it on anything else, but yeah, and I and I think they're very very comfortable. So it's gonna be no surprise that this one's gonna be very comfortable as well. Well, I did find some stuff weird though because on the website it says that it has this FF Blast. It says improved sock liner and midsole features with FF Blast for the cushioning. It, it doesn't say anything as regarding Ortholite on the actual website, but then yeah, it's got Ortholite on this one. So I'm not really sure. I was getting confused. Like, is it <laughs> the FF Blast uh, cushioning or is it the Orth Ortholite cushioning? Uh, and and the thing is, I was I did want to try it and have a look, which if it wasn't a uh, an actual Ortholite insole. But the insole is stuck. It's like, I can't actually, it, they glued it like really hard onto the actual, yeah, they glued it pretty well. And they glued it pretty well to the inside of the sneaker. And I know um, Nightwing tried to do it himself, but he couldn't do it either. So they were just gonna have to safely assume that the, it is a, an insole, uh, Ortholite insole. And I, I put them on already and they are very comfortable. And if I could, make a comparison about the comfort and all that kind of stuff. I could say it's very, very similar to an Air Monarch. If you guys already watched my video beforehand about the Air Monarchs, I feel like they're really, really stable, they're supportive, and, and that's what you want in sneaker. So it's very comfortable. And um, I think it's, it's great for like an all day thing as well. So if you're going out, you don't have to really worry about these because yeah, if, these could take you, these can definitely take you like on really long walks and all that kind of stuff. And it looks great. I think it's a great all around sneaker. I mean, I wouldn't call it the most comfortable sneaker, but all around, it's definitely like a really good choice. So other aspects that I really wanted to talk about is the outsole. You can see there that there is this really unique design. And according to the website, it's sort of like a bird's eye view of a city. So you can see all these kind of different aspects, like a like a town plan or something like that. You know, when you're looking from the bottom, uh, from the top to the bottom. Yeah, it's got that really cool look. I kind of mentioned this in my reels already, but um, it gives me, it kind of reminds me of the anime called Slam Dunk, which really gives me nostalgic feels and all this kind of stuff, because I love that anime. They had A6 sneakers in that anime uh, as well. So uh, yeah, just seeing this in it. In a, and that's why I'm wearing these as well. <laughs> This is, see, this is only from the 91 to 92 Bulls and all this kind of stuff, but I think it matches, kind of matches, like in terms of the look. <laughs> yeah, so this whole video is basically about like nostalgic feels and all this kind of stuff. Even if Foot Locker did not send me these or gift me these, I definitely still would have wanted to cop. That Ballaholic one, that's the one I really wanted. When I was really keen on getting it and before they messaged me and all this kind of stuff, that's the one I would have bought because it is, it, I don't know, maybe because it is a collaboration, but not just that, but Ballaholic, um, the color, that colorway was probably the most neutral and I believe that's the one that I could, could have worn the most and obviously got more my, like, uh, more bang for my buck because I can wear it with anything because it's just mainly just white 
with uh, black and gray. Whereas this one's, I know like this colorway is still pretty nice. I could still wear it with a lot of different, you know, colors and all this kind of stuff. But that one definitely stuck, you know, that's the one that stuck to my mind. And when I tried to get it, it sold out straight away. So I was just like, oh man. So I kind of left it, but I think I'm, I'm happy that I did leave it. So because these ones came around. So like there are co collabs of this sneaker with, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Kith, but on the box it says Feig. So Ronnie Feig, obviously he um, did some collaborations with ASICs on the EX89. And you know, when Kith works on something, it's definitely a banger. I love that how they change the materials around to make it look a little bit more different and a little bit more elevated in terms of materials and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm a big fan of that. And I really highly suggest if you guys are looking for something different, like other than seeing the like those pandas everywhere especially panda dunks and all that kind of stuff you want a different take there's actually a black and white version of this that sort of looks like the panda dunks if you want to go that direction but i highly advise you guys to try and yeah go with some colors and try add some colors into your rotation or into your sneaker collection so in terms of sizing guys what i like about this sneaker as well is that they do have half sizes as you can see there it's a nine and a half us in all my nikes i'm a nine and a half so i would definitely went true to size with this I, I definitely advise you guys to go true to size i'm a wide footer yeah i'm more of a nine in length but i'm a nine and a half in width and this is perfect for me hopefully that helps you guys in terms of the sizing so yeah guys uh that's basically my review for these ones these are it's a very plain and simple the there's not so much of a backstory behind these and like when i try to look for some it's just, uh, yeah, it's a very plain and simple one that uh, that ASICs decided to bring back into the, like, back from the past and into the future. And yeah, it's, it's just a great overall sneaker that I highly advise you guys, if you want to try something different, this is the one to go with. And uh, yeah, thanks once again for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you like the sneaker content in general, please consider subscribing to the channel. And once again, guys, uh, I've got a couple of videos as well coming up, but I will also be going to Japan soon. So there was more, there's going to be a lot of Japan vlogs coming up in around two weeks. So I hope you guys can stick around and yeah, uh, watch that with me because man, Japan, if you haven't been, it's such a vibe there. So hopefully I can go and see some sneaker stores there, show you guys around and see what the culture of sneakers is like in Japan. Anyway, guys, thanks once again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.